My job today is I'm going to be teaching every person here uh, three different types of shots. One is a wrist shot, one is a snap shot, and one is a wrist snap shot, which that is just a combination of a wrist shot and a snap shot. It's kind of like an evolved shot. Um, so if you've ever seen any of my videos, I kind of refer to a lot of those wrist snapshots. Wrist shots, fantastic for accuracy. Um, quick release, I would say as well too. Snapshots, it's like half of a slap shot, so it's got a focus on power. And then a wrist snapshot is a combination of those two, um, where it adds a little bit of quickness, add some nice accuracy, um, I, I love it. And then we're gonna focus on two other types of shots from there as well too. The first is gonna be a front leg shot. So if you're a lefty like me, a front leg shot simply means this. When you wind up, your stick is to your left side of your body, and when you fire, you're gonna be stepping your right leg forward. If you're a righty, then obviously it's gonna be vice versa. You're gonna wind up, the stick will be to your right, and when you fire, your left leg will be stepping forward. That is called a front leg shot. A back leg shot is the opposite. If you're a lefty, when you wind up, you bring your stick to the left side of your body, and instead of leaning on your left, and then transferring your weight to your right, you're gonna do the opposite. You're gonna lean on your right when you wind up, and then fire, and you'll be leaning on your left. And obviously it's vice versa um, for, for righties. So, just admitting a few more people into the class here as I go. Um, so, um, the first shot that we always learn is a front leg shot. That's like the perfect, um, if we get that one down, we can focus on proper techniques from there, and then uh, we can focus on um, more advanced type of shots, like the back leg shot. It's also called an off leg shot. Um, Austin Matthews is amazing at shots like that. Okay, everyone, are you guys all set? Here we go, let's get started. Get into your position where you're ready to shoot, and if you can see me really well, then that's great. Um, if you have a synthetic ice board, the first thing that I want you to focus on is this. I want the puck to begin in the top corner of that synthetic ice board. I am not standing on my synthetic ice board. I'm actually off to the side. And I want you to get in a nice athletic stance. The first thing that I want you to focus on, normally when we are shooting and we're actually on the ice, um, what we're trying to do is, is this. We place the puck right underneath our chin in front of our body. So this is where it is for me normally. And what we do is we place the puck in the backhand side. So everybody do that right now. You can place it underneath your chin, or if you don't have much synthetic ice board space, then you can kind of step your body to the side off the synthetic ice board and just put it right on the corner of the synthetic ice board. And what I want you to do is look like you're getting your picture taken, but your arms are away from your body. This is me resting. This is me ready to play some hockey. So everybody pick up your right hand if you're a lefty or pick up your left arm if you're a righty. And what I want you to do is flex your bicep. Show me that bicep muscle. And what you're gonna do is make the letter L. So what I want you to do is actually turn that arm upside down. As soon as you turn it upside down, you've got a nice big window right here. And I'm gonna refer back to this window a little bit later on, but it's really important because we push our arms away from our body. And the reason why we push our arms away from our body is because once I get the, um, into the wind up, it's gonna allow me to be able to utilize the strength in my arms and as well keep a proper technique in actually taking my shot. So everybody, position number one, if you have a nice big synthetic ice board, then it's underneath your chin, arms away from your body, really wide, solid stance. If I were to push you right now, you wouldn't be able to move. So everybody, position number one is this. Position two, if you're a lefty, you're gonna wind up you're placed on the backhand side in position one. This is just called the setup. Position two is the wind up. Once you wind up, if you're a lefty, you're gonna bring it to the left side of your body. If you're a righty, then obviously you're gonna bring it to the right side of your body. When you do this, everybody look at me right now. Put your hands together with your hockey stick. Get nice and wide. Pick up your hockey stick and point it at me. Push your butt back and now lift up your chest. If you're a lefty, Lean on your left leg right now. If you're a righty, lean on your right leg right now. And all you're doing right now is what's called, look at it from the side, it's a, called a lateral lunge. All I'm doing is leaning on that leg. When we wind up, that's all you do. Here's my position one, arms away from the body, wide stance. Here's my position two. I'm leaning on this left leg, and my right leg has very little weight, but it is ready 
to prounce forward. Just like you're skating, whenever we skate, we lean on our left leg, we stride onto our right. We lean on our right leg, we stride onto our left. And when you shoot, that's exactly what I want you doing. So even if you're shooting off of the ice, position number one is this, position two is this, you lean on your left leg, position three, step your leg forward, Position four is gonna be your follow through. Position one is the setup position. Let's analyze, where do I wanna score? Position two is your wind up, you're generating power. Position three, you are now about to release that power and I want you to step that leg forward and then position four, you're gonna release that power and release that accuracy and that's called the follow through. The setup, the wind up, the weight transfer, and then the follow through. Everybody take a few shots right now. Here's what your tempo should be. Position number one, then two, then three, four. Three and four should happen almost at the exact same time. Check this out. Position number, I know I'm really close to the net right now. Position one, two, and then three, four. I want you to absolutely unleash a rocket of a shot. Your shot should be bullet hard every single time that you shoot. And if you